Hello my friends, Kate here. Today I will show you how to crochet iris stitch. It's a one row repeat which is easy enough for beginners and very quick to learn. It creates lacy structure so it's perfect for spring accessories and garments. On my website you will find a written pattern for this stitch and the diagram. The links are in the description box below. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the bell button to never miss a video. For this tutorial I used DMC cotton yarn with a 3mm crochet hook, but you can use any yarn with a corresponding hook. I will use two colors for this stitch, but you can stay with one. To start you need to make a slip knot and a foundation chain of multiple of 4. I've got 16 stitches in total. Make 3 chain stitches. This is your turning chain. Find the 5th chain stitch counting from the hook. Yarn over and insert your hook there. Make two double crochets there, working the loops two by two. Now make one chain stitch and make another two double crochets still in the same chain stitch. You now have four double crochet stitches divided by one chain stitch. Now yarn over Skip 3 stitches and insert your hook in the 4th chain stitch. Work all the same stitches here. So start with 2 double crochets, then 1 chain stitch and again 2 double crochets in the same stitch. This is your repeat for this row. Continue like so until the end of the row. I will meet you there. Here I'm finishing my last module and I'm left with two stitches. Yarn over and work one double crochet into the last stitch. Now make three chain stitches and turn the work. From now on this stitch will be very easy. Now instead of counting the stitches, you will be working your modules in these chain spaces. Start with the nearest one. You know what to do. Two double crochets, one chain, two double crochets. Then hop to the next chain space and repeat. Continue like so and I will meet you at the end of the row.
To finish off this row you need to make one double crochet into the top of the turning chain. It can be a little tricky so there is also an option to work it in the chain space instead of a stitch. It won't be very neat but it doesn't matter if you are going to add a border to your project for example. That's basically it. Your next row is exactly the same as row 2. Repeat row 2 until you reach the desired size. To change colors we need to stop before finishing the last stitch of the row, that is when you have two loops on your hook. To take another color of yarn and keep it with your fingers behind your work. Now yarn over and use it as a working yarn to finish the stitch. Adding another color to iris stitch makes it look very fun, so play with it and explore unexpected combinations. To see more inspiring colorways, go to my article about iris stitch blankets, which I linked below this video. As I've mentioned before, on my website you will find a written pattern, a diagram for this stitch and three colorways I've created. All the links are in the description box below. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or would like to see more, please leave suggestions and feedback down below. Thanks and have a creative day!